Hey y'all, welcome to Yes! Passing sure looks easy, all right? I'm Bern Ong from 88 Tuition. And this question, yes, is from the PSLA 2021 paper. I call this water in, water out. Check this out. Water flows from tap P into the tank at 4.2 liters per minute. Means that water is going in, drip, 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 drip. Uh, got sign in fact, uh, at 4.2 liters every one minute, all right? So one, point, one minute, 4.2 liters of water goes into the tank. Tap P is turned on at 2 p.m., okay? After five minutes, tap Q was then turned on. Oh, this means that tap P right, is turned on solely for five minutes, all right? And after that, tap Q was turned on to drain the water from the tank. <laughs> and that went on for 10 minutes. And remember, in these 10 minutes, right, tap P is still on. Huh? So in total, tap P is turned on for five plus 10, 15 minutes, very good. Tap Q is only turned on for 10 minutes. And what happened? After 10 minutes, both taps were turned off. All right. And the tank was half full. Okay. Let's take a look at the first part first. Find the rate of water flow from tap Q per minute in liters. We know that tap P is flowing in at 4.2 liters per minute, but we don't know about tap Q. So that's what you are supposed to find. Three marks. Wow. And for part B. Both taps were turned on again at 2.15 p.m. All right. So down here got five minutes. Down here got 10 minutes, right? So it's like 15 minutes clear. All right. Ah, so at 2.15, both were turned on again at the same time. This time at the same time. Ah. At 2.30 p.m., what is the fraction of the tank that is filled? All right. Let's take a look at part A first. Check this out. This one is question 17, right? Ah, bring it back memories. All right, so you're supposed to find the rate of water flow from tap Q per minute in liters. Remember our tap P? What happened to tap P? Tap P is being on, turned on for the first five minutes alone, right? But after that, another 10 minutes, it continued to flow water in. Is that true? So 15 minutes, it has 15 minutes of the on time. <laughs> All right, so in one minute, 4.2 liters of water is going in. How about in 15 minutes? You can simply take 15 times 4.2 liters, and that will be how much? Calculator! All right, let me press 15 times 4.2 is equal to 63 liters of water is already in. This is the in, <laughs> in time. All right, so that is for tap P. Is that okay? Tap Q. What's wrong with tap Q? Tap Q is supposed to flow out, right? Water is supposed to be flowing out from tap Q. Is that true? Yes. How many minutes? 10 minutes. Huh? This time around, it's only 10 minutes. Huh? Is that okay? But we, we don't know the rate. We don't know the rate of water flowing out from tap Q per minute. That is the thing that you are supposed to look for. Can you see? Ah, and we know, and we know something. We know that after all this, right, what happened? The tank will be what? The tank is actually half full. Half full. It was the meaning of half full. Ah. Uh, means that it is <laughs> fill up half. <lah. laughs> okay, so we just got to take half times what? Half times the volume of the tank. All right. Uh, length times breadth times height, 30 times 20 times 55. The half is there to tell you that it is half full. So here you press your calculator, 30 times 20 times 55 times half. That will give you a 16500 cm cube, cubic centimeter. All right, but it's best to change to liters. How come? Because question is asking in liters. All right, what's the conversion? Okay, don't panic. We know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliter. And we also know that what? One cm cube is equal to one milliliter, right? So in a way, right, in a way, we can say that what? 1,000 ml is equal to 1,000 cm cube, which means that one liter is equal to 1,000 cm cube. All right, so... 16,500 cm cube. How do you change back to liters? Yes, divide by 1,000. That will give you, moving on the decimal, 1, 2, 3, 16.5 liters. Bam! All right. So 16.5 liters of water is inside the tank. After all this that is happening. Is that okay? Ah, so what's happening? We know that water goes in 63 liters, right? Correct. But we don't know water coming out is how much. But we know that at the end of the day, there's 16.5 liters left inside. Correct or not? So if I take the in minus the 16.5 liters, 
what do I get? All right, I will get this number here. And can you tell me what these numbers represent? All right, I get a 46.5 liters. What does this number represent? This number actually represents that Q water going out. Does it make sense? Talk to yourself a little bit. I have 63 liters of water. 46.5 liters is flowing out. That's why I got 16.5 liters remaining. Yes, it makes total sense. All right, in math, it's like that. All right, they will give you what? Two out of the three things in order to find the last thing, right? For example, one plus two, three. All right, then three minus one, two. All right, it's all playing with these three numbers. All right, the question must give you enough information in order to do this type of question. Three things, they will give you two information to find the last thing. Remember that, all right? That's for math. All right, so this 46.5 liters is flowing out thanks to tap Q. And this take tap Q, 10 minutes to do so. So 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes, what happened? 46.5 liters of water is flowing out. What's the question asking? Find the rate of uh, find the rate of water flow from Q per minute. Uh. Per minute means in one minute. So down here, if I want it as one minute, what do I do? Ah, this is something called rate. Uh. So from 10, how do I get to one? Divide by 10 here. What must I do here? 46.5 also must divide by 10. That is called fairness. That's why I love mathematics. It's all about being fair. All right, it's going out. Is that okay? So every one minute, 4.65 liters is flowing out from Q. Isn't that what the question wants? Yeah, all right. So this is not the answer. Let me just erase this. 16.5 liters is what is left, all right, in the tank, all right, down here. Okay, so maybe the water level is up to here. Only. Is that okay? Uh, see? I can draw straight lines. I'm so proud of myself sometimes. <laughs> All right, so for part A, the answer will be what? The part A will be here. All right, let me just circle in white. Here, 4.65 of liters is flowing out every one minute. Is that okay? Uh, it's very important for you to tell your teacher where the answer is because sometimes your working is here a bit there. All right, so if you can, right, maybe, all right, give your teacher this answer. 4.65 liters per minute. Whoa! I tell you, the marker or your teacher will be so happy with your presentation. Can okay? Make sure your dot is seen properly. All right, moving on to part B. Let's go. Both taps were turned on again at 2.15. Remember, remember? Before 2.15, right, you know, five minutes on for P. All right, then another 10 minutes on for P. Then in that 10 minutes, Q, all right, water is flowing out. Remember the story, yeah? Okay, so after that, they were both turned off. So when they were both turned off, there's still 16.5 liters of water inside. Half full one. Remember that? Correct. Okay. So what happened now? So at 2.15 again, ah, both are turned on again. This time around, both are turned on together. Ah. Both ah, are turned on ah, again. Ah. All right. At 2.30, what is the fraction of the tank that is filled? So here you have to look for what? In the next 15 minutes, from 2.15 to 30, what is happening? Ah, so what is happening here is I have the clue here. All right, in one minute, 4.2 liters is flowing in. In one minute, 4.65 liter is flowing out. <gasps> but, but, but starting at 2.15, right, I already got 16.5 liters of water in the tank. Is that true? Correct, correct. So in 15 minutes, what happened? Yes, there's water going in, right? So can I say that? Can I say that there are 15 times... 4.2 liters. This is thanks to that P uh, of water that is flowing in. Can I say that? Into the tank. So it is a it is a plus. Is that true? All right. So the tank actually gain gain what? Gain water thanks to tap A. All right. But but because of tap Q, what happened to tap Q? Uh, yo, water is actually leaking out from tap Q. All right. Water is actually leaking out from tap Q. I can't, I don't know what color to select. <laughs> and how many minutes is that? 15 minutes, huh? Because from 2.15 to 2.30 is 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes, what happened? All right, 4.65 liters of water is leaking out from tap Q. So this is tap Q, all right? This is not tap A, <laughs> this is tap P. Tap Q, so out. Is that okay? Okay, so let me uh, update it. This is a P, there is a Q, and... Yes, as you can see, I'm a little bit OCD here. <laughs> and since water is leaving out right down here, it's a minus. Is that okay? 
Oh, you just form the you just form the math statement down here. All right. All you got to do is to press your calculator from left to right. 16.5 liter is actually in the beginning. All right. It's already there at 215. Ah. All right. It's a continuation from part A. Then what happened? Uh, 15 times 4.2 liters of water goes in because of tap P. And 15 times 4.65 liter of water is actually living because of tap Q. And there will be 9.75 liters that is left after what? After this 15 minutes. So this is at what time? This is at 2.30 p.m. Oh, we are reaching there. We are reaching there. The question is asking what? The question is asking about the fraction of the tank. Of the tank. All right. This of the tank is the what? It's the total tank that is filled. All right. How much is filled? This amount is filled, which is the 9.75 liters. So I need a fraction. It's something over something. All right. So the focus is on what? The focus is on the field. And the bottom right is the total. All right. Total means what? The total capacity of the tank, the entire tank. So 9.75 liters, right, is what is left. I will put it here, which is the focus here. Okay. And what's the total? <gasps> I don't have the total. Don't have? Fine. La. All right. So what do you have? Down here, you can actually look for the total here. Yeah. Okay. Total tank will be equal to what? You can simply just take the length times breadth times height 30 times 20 times 55. And this answer will give you in what? In cubic centimeter. All right, that will be 33,000 cubic centimeter. And remember the conversion? Divide by 1,000 to give you your 33 liters. You have to be fair when you compare fraction. Liters must be compared with liters. Yeah, this is the answer. This is the answer. Hey, but cheer. How come your fraction inside got decimal? Yeah, something wrong, right? Yeah, thank you for picking that up. So what you do? You rely on your calculator. Just press into your calculator. It will give you the simplest form. I love my calculator. 9.75 divided by 33 or 9.75 over 33. And it will give you a 13 over 44. And isn't this the simplest form? No decimal inside? Yes, that's the answer. So this is the fraction that represents the tank. All right, after what? after whatever that's happening at 2.30 p.m. <laughs> All right, is that okay? Yeah? All right, so that is how you do this style of question. Okay? And maybe you can add in one more step from 2.15 to 2.30. All right, it's better to show your teacher how you get the 15 minutes, just in case. Just in case your teacher um, don't know how. So you teach your teacher from here to here, it's actually a 15 minutes. You can show this working here. All right, this is allowed. Can? Yeah, and that's how you do water in, water out. Cool. All right. So this is from uh, this is Benong from Edit Tuition. All right. If you have any interesting or tough question you like me to uh solve, all right, you can actually drop me an email here. All right. So if I can uh help you in that area, I will definitely help you. All right. So uh, that's all for now. In the meantime, you do take care. Uh, be safe and be good. <laughs> Don't be naughty.